sorry brothers and sisters i was making that video early on and then so some brothers came into the room so i um i had to pause the video but just to finish off we were talking about i was saying that when you look around the universe we almost see a mirror of the trinity we see that nothing is alone you see not everything is sort of in context or in relation to something else you know the whole universe is relational and de and everything depends on something for its own existence nothing brings itself into itself into existence but was brought into existence by something else and and so the the whole relation world is relational but all of that kind of mirrors something far more fundamental and far more real and is like in god there are relations god is a father of a son uh, of the eternal word and the word is 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 the son of the father now these are all our human words our human experience to try and uh, well first of all it's we're using jesus's words because uh, he used our human words to try and explain this incredible relationship he had with the father from all eternity before creation and the holy spirit so he uses these words that we could relate to and understand something of this ineffable mystery of god of this trinity of persons and so we, we, we know the famous saying by, by St. Augustine um, that I've preached on so many times. And Father Dwight Black sent me a lovely picture today. Some of you will know Father Dwight, he ministers in St. Finbas. And it's about St. Augustine. And again, that thing that if God is love, God is has to be three, not two, not four, but three. Because love comes from somewhere, the source, who's the Father. And the Father is the source, loves, and love is always of someone or something. And in this case, in God, is of someone. It's, it's, it's the word. The beloved, he's the beloved, the one being loved in all eternity. And the love they share is the third thing. It's it's the Holy Spirit. So the source of love, uh, the object of love, and then love itself. There are three things. So the source, the Father, th what is being loved, the Son. And the, the third is the Holy Spirit, who is lo love itself between them. So, so in this sense, we could think out something of this great mystery of the Trinity, how you could have love and have three aspects to it. And so... So there's just sacred number three in a sense. And so Jesus has revealed this beautiful inner life of God. And when we were baptized, we were baptized right into this incredible life of God in this exchange of love, this this drama in all eternity of love of between these three persons, through these of God himself, um, this family of love. Um, we baptize into it in a sense that our heart and our mind, our mind is taken up into God's thoughts and starts to be conformed to God's word. Um, and then our will, our the ability in us to desire and to, to will is taken up into the, the power, the driving force of the Holy Spirit of love. So, so we start to participate in this incredible inner life of God as Christians in the most intimate way possible through baptism and through the sharing of grace. And so we celebrate our entry into the Trinity in baptism, which is nourished by Holy Communion and the other sacraments in incredible ways. So just these are just some ramblings just for us to meditate on this high mystery of the Trinity, which is the foundation of all reality. Everything flows from the Trinity and the way they love each other. And yeah, so may the Lord bless you this Trinity Sunday.